Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of PilotClimb.com. This is another Fly Simulator episode where we're gonna talk about the Boeing 737 FMC. What you're gonna learn in this episode is to create a waypoint using your FMC and then use LNAV in order to fly direct to that point. Okay, so in order to fully understand this, uh, this video, you need to first check the LNAV video that I made few, a month ago or so, okay, and uh, in order to make sure that you understand the importance of this. The main benefits of creating your own waypoint using the FMC is that you can actually fly from one point to another one when you are actually doing a visual approach, for example, or when you are on radar vectors and by creating this point, you can actually update your vertical profile. Okay, so as you can see in here, this is the navigation display and I made it bigger in order to make sure that it's clear to everybody. And this is the navigation display, this is the airplane, this white triangle and the magenta line is the route. Okay, so if I go here in plan mode, okay, and then I increase the range a little bit. Actually, I can do something like that. Okay, if you can see, the, we are at the moment joining this holding here, okay? But let's say we have to fly this approach, okay? And normally the approach has got the route, which is the magenta line, okay? This magenta line is the route straight from the uh, chart, okay? From the approach chart. And I made extensive videos and a, a, a lot of explanation about how to fly your approach. So check those videos in the channel if you are, uh, if you're wondering how to fly your approach. I did one on the Cessna 172 and one on the Boeing 737, okay? So, but the main goal of today is that since you program the FMC, the, the approach, okay, what's going to happen is that by clicking here, the partial arrival page, you see we've got the uh, airport of destination. In this case, are the same, okay? But normally in here is the departure uh, airport in here, you should have your destination airport. If you click on the arrival page in here, okay, you click in there. As you can see here, you've got all the procedures, okay? So when you click on that procedures, okay, that procedure will be in here. So you're going to have all the points that are in the procedures. Okay, so this is fantastic. However, you can still program your own point if you don't want to fly the wall procedure. Okay, let's say the controller tells you that you can actually uh, fly a visual approach or you request a visual approach or you request a self, uh, a self positioning approach. Okay, what will happen is that you can actually create any point around here. Okay, or any point using your, airp your airplane as a reference. Okay. How do we do that? Okay, so let's say, first of all, okay, that's for example, okay, we want to create a point. Let me reduce the range in here. Okay, as you can see here, the first point we've got Oketa in there. We are holding over Oketa. Then we've got Golf India Roma, which is this point in there. Okay, then after Golf India Roma, we've got the 12 miles Golf India Roma. Then it's a left hand to Nasgo, which is in there. Okay, and then it's uh, uh, establishing bound, and this is the runway, the white runway. Okay. The, the two lines in here are the runway, okay? But let's say that, for example, you don't want to fly the full approach, okay? You don't want to fly from Oketa. So as you can see, the airplane is here, okay? So let's say you don't want to fly from here all the way down there, then there, and then left turn, okay? Let's say, since you are here for a self-maneuvering uh, point, self-maneuvering, you can actually fly. You want to fly from Oketa, which is the point in here, all the way to some point in there okay instead of doing all the magenta line you just go straight in there for a base turn then establish your final and then land okay how do you do that there is a way to do that okay so in order to understand how you can do that we first need to understand that we can actually use every point that is in the fmc okay as a vor let's call it okay you can use the point let's say for example nasgo let me put it in the center there we go so we said that we want to f we want to use Nasgo as a waypoint in order to create a point in here, okay, on a base turn, okay. Instead of doing the whole thing, we want to fly s like here, for example, then Nasgo and then in inbound, okay, because this is the final, okay. So you can use, for example, any point to create the additional point that you want to fly to. How do you do that? So. If you put Nasgo on the center, okay, you can see that the point that we want to create, let's say in here, okay, is around, if you take Nasgo, is on a 100 degrees pretty much, okay, because this is 90 degrees, this is the north, as you can see in here, okay, Nasgo is in the center, so north, east, south, and west. 
So our point that we want to create around here, okay, where the lens is, okay, is uh, approximately at 100 degrees from Nazgo, okay, because if this is 90, this is 100, and the distance that we want to create the point is, since this is 10 nautical miles, we want to near, so let's call it 7 nautical miles, okay. So now that we know pretty much the radial and the distance from Nazgo, what we can do is the following. We select Nazgo, okay, and Nazgo pop up in here, okay? And then we actually have, we have to write down the radial that we want and the distance. So we want a point in here again, so we set radial around 100 and approximately 7 miles, okay? Because if this is 90, this is 100, and if it's, this is 10, this is around 7 miles. So we write down 100, slash 7 okay and we put it on top where Nazgo is okay so if we put it in there okay then we con we check here we go so as you can see in here now we actually create this point in there okay and we create that point using Nazgo as a reference okay so in fact if I put Nazgo again on the center we can we can see that this is around 100 miles Okay, sorry, let me put it in 10 miles as we say. Oh, here we go. So it's 100 degrees, sorry, at 7 nautical miles. Okay? So now, since we have this point in here, but as you can see, it's a point that is there in the middle of nowhere because there is no magenta line connected to that. Okay? Because this is a point that we just created, you see? It's in there, but there is no magenta line that is connected that. In order to connect that, we, we need to tell our FMC that after our holding, which is Oketa in this point, as you can see here, it says hold at Oketa, which is this point in there. So what we want is instead of flying the wall procedure, okay, we want to fly from Oketa. Let me see if I can make it a bit clearer. We want to fly from Oketa all the way down to the point that we created. It is somewhere in there. Okay, so as you can see in there, the point is here, so instead of doing this all the way down of the wall magenta, I want to fly from Oketa to the point that we just created, NAS, NAS 02 in this case, okay? So, how do we do that? Well, you need to take, since you don't want to fly over Girona, Golf India Romeo, which is the point in here, and there's the point in there, okay? So, Oketa, Golf India Romeo, and as you can see here, it says Oketa, Golf India Romeo, then is a left, uh, sorry, is a right turn, to the Golf India Remo 12 nautical miles, Golf India Remo 12 nautical miles. So since we don't want to do all this part, what we need to do is to take the point we create, the NAS uh, November Alpha Sierra 01, which is the point in here, okay, and we put it basically after the point that we want. So since we want to fly from Oketa, from Oketa to this point in there straight, okay, what we have to do, we have to take the point we create and then put it just below Oketa. So as you can see now, we've got from Oketa, this is the dashed line that is telling us, okay, are you sure you want to fly from Oketa to the point there? And I say yes. By saying yes, I click execute. Okay. So now, as you can see, the magenta line completely changed because we were flying from Oketa to Golf in the Aroma, then the world procedures. But now we are flying Oketa and then the point that we actually create. In fact, if I go like that, as you can see now, we've got actually the points in there. So, Oketa and then the point that we create, okay? But fine, there is only one problem. As you can see here, there is something that is called root discontinuity. Root discontinuity means that there is the magenta line is not connected. And as you can see, the FMC as well te is telling us that there is a root discontinuity there, okay? So, how can we clear this root discontinuity? This root, this root discontinuity you clear by connecting these two points, okay? So, since we want to fly Oketa, November Alpha Sierra 01 and then we want to fly to Nazgo as we said we only need to select Nazgo and then put it just below NAS01 so we are giving the FMC the sequence of the point that we want to follow so if I select execute you will see that we're gonna have November Alpha Sierra 01 Nazgo and then established inbound okay so in this way you can actually create any point you want starting from any other point okay so let's make another example in order to make sure that this is clear. Let's say you want to fly, you have created this point and you're like, ah, I don't like this point. I would like to fly more north, more to the north and then turn left, okay? You can choose which reference you want to use, okay? So you can use, you can either choose uh, uh, November Alpha Sierra 01, that's the one that we created, and create a point 
using this as a center and create a point in here, for example. Okay, a point in here, as you can see, since this is north, okay, you want to have it slightly to the left, you're gonna create a point that is from November Alpha Sierra 01, is pretty much on radial 355, for example, 350, and again, it's around 7 nautical miles, okay, because if this is north, north is straight, okay, let's call it 355, should give us a point slightly to the left, and then since it's 10 miles, okay, because if we would create a point in here, it's 10 miles, but we want it in there, so we can call it again 6 miles, okay, so again, what we have to do, if you want to use this as a, as a reference to create a new waypoint, you click on no November Alpha Sierra 01, okay, then you you write down the radial that you want from this point and we said it's 355 because we want the point in there since this this is north okay straight line is north you want it slightly to the left so it's 355 all right and then the distance slash and then you put the distance the distance again since we want it in here the uh, the green circle sorry the white circle is 10 miles you want it slightly before the white circle so it's approximately six nautical miles okay so we write down like that so you have to choose which uh, reference you want, then radial and then distance, and then you put it exactly after the point. So what happens is that if you put it in there, now you see we have actually created a new waypoint. So we have NAS01, NAS02, but and then root discontinuity. As you can see, is NAS01, NAS02, root discontinuity, and then NAS. How can we? clear this root discontinuity we take nasgo and we put it in the point that is more applicable to us and then since it's a white dashed line it's because we haven't executed yet as you can see here the light is on in order to execute that and make sure that this uh, uh, modification that we made is actually active and is in there okay we execute that modif modification now it became it changed from uh, a white dashed line to a solid magenta line Okay, so now, if we uh, exit the old, what will happen is that we're going to fly NAS01, NAS02, and now and then NAS. Okay, so what I want to make sure is, clear, is that you can use any, you can create any point in your navigation display by choosing a reference and then find out what is the radial and what is the distance of the waypoint that you want to create. Okay, so, as you can see, when you're doing self-positioning, okay, I want to stress the fact that this is not a procedure, it's not a practice that you can, you should use any time, okay? You should use this practice when you get radar vectors, for example, and I made a complete separate video about radar vectors. Radar vectors, very quickly, normally, you plan for a wall, for the wall procedures as we had at the beginning of the video, okay? Remember when we were flying over Golf in Yarome, or then right down to the 12 nautical miles and so on, However, the air traffic controllers gives you radar vectors and what happens with radar vectors is that the air traffic controller will give you headings that you have to follow in order to fly the approach, okay? So, when you are under radar vectors, if you keep the wall procedures on the FMC, the VNAV information, the vertical path information, they will, they will be completely wrong because the vertical path information of the computer, of the aircraft, will be based on the route, on the magenta line that you have. And since the magenta line, since the route that you have got on the navigation display will not be the same as the route that you fly because you're going to be on the radar vectors, you cannot base your information regarding your vertical profile on the VNAV. Okay? So what will happen is that you have to update your FMC with a point that actually can uh, indicate, can actually follow the, uh, the radar vectors from the ATC. Okay? So let's say you get a radar vectors. Once you're established on the heading that control it gives to you, you should think about, okay, how long is going to be these radar vectors? And then you create a waypoint from there. And when you create a waypoint that pretty much is the route that the air traffic controller wants, to, uh, wants you to follow, you can base, you can have a, an additional information about your vertical profile, okay, using the VNAV. Okay, I made separate videos about how can you calculate your ideal vertical profile and how VNAV calculates your profile. So watch them if you haven't watched them. And basically, that's it, guys. You can, we can actually use these procedures when we are doing a visual approach or self-positioning approach, okay? Uh, or any times you, you feel it, uh, you feel that is more is applicable, okay? Because in this way, once you know how can you calculate, how you can create a waypoint, you can really use enough to fly anywhere, okay? You only need another waypoint to use as a reference from, and then you just need to 
select our point put it uh, on the scratch pad okay so in this case like let's do another example for just to make sure just to close the video okay so let's let's say we want to create a point in here okay because we want to fly from here to there and then there okay so you can either use nas 01 or nas 02 i will use nas 01 because this is a 90 degrees radial okay so we want a point in here so we take nas 01 as a reference and we use radial 0 0 50 nautical miles because if it's, this is, is 10 nautical miles and this is 20 we're gonna use a, a point which is pretty much the, in the middle okay so how do we do it again we select the point that we want to use as a reference we, we write down the radial okay slash the distance that we want that point okay so we set nas 01 as a reference and then we've got radial 0 0 15 miles okay so and then as you can see if i put it in there now look we just create another waypoint okay and then if i want to fly from here to nas 03 and then fly to nas 02 since there is a root discontinuity in here because as you can see the magic the the root is not going anywhere i only have to put after nas 03 nas 02 so i select nas 02 and i put it in there and as you can see now we are actually flying from there to the point we create to that point in there is a magenta sorry is a white uh, dashed line because i haven't executed that since the the, the the lights is still on if i execute that now we've got the new route in there okay i can increase a little bit the range in here as you can see now we change completely our initial route okay now there is another thing that uh, i want to tell you if you want you can even create very quickly a point let's say you want uh, uh, let's say you are here okay you are doing the holding okay and what happens is that you expect that the air traffic controller will not uh, make you to fly the war procedure okay so you can actually very quickly create a point along the magenta line with some nautical miles before or after the point okay so let's say you want to create a point there that is approximately let me see eh? if we put that point in the center okay then we reduce the range okay let's say you want to create a point that is around here okay on the route so because you think that the air traffic controller for example will make you fly the standard route until this point and then it will ask you to fly to this point in there nas 02 so very quickly if you take this point so our goal is to create a point there okay so if you take this point if you select that point nas 03 okay you put it in there okay and then you just uh, you just select the slash uh, key and then you write down how many nautical miles you want that point to be created along the route okay you can either create a point before the nas 03 or a point after but since we want it before we have to select a point slash and then we have to write down minus because it's, uh, we are telling the system that we want it before 10 miles okay so now if we put that point in there as you can see we create a point in here that is slightly off of the magenta line it should not be like that in real life it should be exactly over the magenta line okay so if i execute that now we've got this new point created 10 miles before that point again there is a slightly off of the previous magenta line which should not be like that in the real life and then if you want to create a point if you want to create to change your route and fly from here to there you simply need to put the nas 02 after the nas 01 okay so in that case you are telling the system you want to fly from here to there and not the full procedure okay so we simply take nas 01 and then after nas 01 we want to go to nas 02 so we put it on top and now as you can see the white dashed line is saying okay this is the modification you want to make do you confirm you want to make this modification of course we execute that and now the route is changed again okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video about how to, how to create a waypoint okay in the next video i will uh, show you how can you create a waypoint using your aircraft position okay so i don't want to do all the and uh, i don't want to do it today because otherwise there will be too many information so, okay in the next video we're gonna see if you don't have a reference to use i'm gonna show you how can you use your aircraft as a reference okay i hope you enjoyed this video about uh, creating a position the 0.737 fmc if you like the video give it a like and consider subscribe to the channel also go to paddleclimb.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content i wish you a great day and i'll see you in the next one